Okay, so derive the formula cos of a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. Now, this one is very similar to cos of a minus b, which we did in the last video, uh, equal to cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. Okay, so it's very similar to that one. There's actually only a small change at the end of the topic or at the end of, of the proof. So to start this, um, we use the same uh, technique. So we're going to start with a unit circle. I'm going to put in um, an angle A like this. Uh, that'll give me a point here that we'll call P which has coordinates in the unit circle of cos A sine A. And I'm going to put in an angle B. That'll give me a point here that we'll call Q with coordinates cos B sine B. And then the length of those, of course, are one. And I can join the point P to the point Q like so. And if I take that triangle there, I can take that triangle down here and just draw it a little bit bigger. This angle now is A minus B. So it's the big one minus the small one. So that angle is A minus B. The length of that is one, the length of that is one. This is the point P with the same coordinates as there. And this is the point Q with the same coordinates as as there. So the first thing I do is I use uh, the cosine rule to find the length from PQ, P, P to Q. So the length of this side in the triangle. So using the cosine rule, I get the length of PQ squared is equal to one squared plus one squared, oh, sorry, one squared. Um, minus 2 times 1 times 1 times the cosine of a minus b. That means the length p q squared is equal to 2 minus 2 times cos a minus b. The second thing that we do then is we do the same find the same distance from P to Q. I'm sorry, I'll just note that as equation one. Um, and just to show you that P, Q squared is what's going to be important coming down the line. Um, so now we're going to find the distance from P to Q using the distance formula. So using the distance formula, what we have is the length P, Q is equal to the square root of cos a minus cos b squared plus sine a minus sine b squared. Okay, so I'm going to work quickly through this uh, algebra here um, to get down to the bit that I need. This is equation two. Uh, what I'm going to do now is say that equation one is equal to equation two. And so far, this has all been the exact same as this one, uh, formula four. Um, but we'll see what difference we get now in a second. So um, letting equation one equal to equation two, we get two minus two cos a minus b is equal to two minus two uh, cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. <clears throat> uh, take two from both sides, they cancel off, and divide both sides by minus two, they cancel off. So we get cos of a minus b is equal to cos a cos b 
plus sine A sine B. But we don't want B, we don't want uh, B in there, we actually wanted minus B. Um, so if, if we had, um, before we, we were dealing with minus B, now we're dealing with plus B. So I'm gonna replace B with minus B. In everywhere in here. So that'll be cos of A minus minus B equal to cos of A times the cos of minus B plus the sine of A times the sine of minus B. Now the cos of A times minus minus B, that's cos of A plus B. Over here, cos of minus B is actually the same as cos of positive B, okay? It doesn't make a difference. So we can put back in there <clears throat> cos B. And over here, uh, sine A times sine of minus B. So the sine of minus B can be written as minus sine B. And because these two are multiplied, the minus is brought out in front here. So it's minus sine A sine B. And that is what we were asked to derive.